Gurpreet helped me out. He did a great job. We didn't have the uh, a way to get it into neutral, but he still found a way to get it on the truck. And now he's gonna subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? Yes, Thanks, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it very much. Take care. See ya. I had my car's alternator and battery replaced at Cheverdy Foreign Cars. Since the battery drain persisted, I went to BMW of Annapolis for more advanced diagnostics. So here I am, Gaithersburg, Maryland, gonna have the instrument cluster swapped out because this one drains power. Uh, BMW said this is definitely what the issue is, but uh, let's see if this, uh, this guy, Valentin, can do it and have the same result for a lot less money. Let's check it out. Just met up with Valentin. My car is pretty dirty, but uh, he's gonna put the new cluster in. Let's see if that solves the battery issue, but even if not, it's gonna have the M Sport uh, gauges, which will look a little cooler. Phillips had screw. There's a special bit. It's a 20. Okay. Does that have the uh, M Sport one or not? Same or same kind? Yeah, it just off there. That's uh, close. Okay. Yeah, definitely look more nicer. Yeah, I see that. How many subscribers do you have? I used to have 40,000 on my uh, guitar channel, but now I have about two, 220. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a few different channels I work with though. Mm -hmm. We'll get the word out for you. Let me just go, go grab a laptop. I will take this one. Okay, so the install is complete. Now it's time to plug, right? Yeah. So even though it's installed and you'll see the red ring around it on the RPM gauge below the, the big numbers, uh, even though it's installed now and it was reset so the car thinks that it's a, a fresh factory one, he still has to coat it. That way um, you don't have all the lights going off and collision warning and all that stuff uh, glitching up on him. So he's going to take care of that, but so far it's only been about four minutes. So we'll see how fast he can knock the rest out. What issues do you have with the So, the big thing is the power drains really fast. The car's been pretty reliable, but when you uh, when you leave it for more than three, four hours, you can't start it. So I already replaced the alternator, I already replaced the uh, battery, but they said that the, um, uh, the, the through the OBD2 port, you, they, the power is still draining out. That's where they detect power draw. I thought maybe I left a spare key in the car and that could make the computer not be able to fall asleep. Okay. But they said the instrument cluster might have a short somewhere. Have you heard of that before? No, it's not that. Mm. But uh, I'll, give, I'll give you the diagnostic and say you know, the cluster has a short. Um, two people, BMW said it and then also a local guy. Oh, okay. Andy at Harbor Auto. Yeah, usually I'm doing just retrofit, so. Well, the thing is, is like when I first decided to fix this problem, I looked at an aftermarket one because I know there's aftermarket gauges and, and clusters. And I figured, hey, if that if it's to fix a broken OEM, who cares if it's better style, you know? Yeah. 
So I found the can film the, the process. Right now I'm starting the coding process. Amazing. We'll just get started right now. And you see the red dot disappearing and everything. Uh yeah. Right now he took the settings of your car. So now it's putting the, the computer is putting the information back into the new cluster, is that right? Yes. Like your vehicle order, like everything. Okay. While it is already there? Yeah. I, I'm not sure, did, did you saw the red dot which was here before? Mm. The, that is called tempered uh, dot. So usually people when uh, taking cluster directly from junkyard and they don't virginize it, don't code it properly, yeah. they will just have that uh, that red dot. Forever, yeah. Yeah, and every time when you start the car, like when you press the start button, your uh, mileage will jump with uh, three miles. Really? Yeah. If you have that dot. I'm just glad it's working. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, definitely look more nicer than, uh, than the regular one. Start the car, see if the gauges are working, everything. Sure, okay. So hey guys, it's been about 24 hours since I last started the car. I had an issue with the temperature gauge not working correctly. Uh, and I had an issue with a check engine light. But as Valentin said, if you restart the car once or twice, it should all go away and work properly, and it did. But uh, even though it has the cool red lines on the gauges that are from the M Sport package, that's not why I bought the gauge cluster. I bought it to get rid of the power drain that I was having. So now that it's been sitting 24 hours, we can see if it starts. Amazing. I don't know if you can see, but it's shuttered maybe a little bit. So maybe the battery needs a few more days to really catch up because it had that constant drain for two weeks with a dead battery. So yeah, don't go to a dealership guys. Talk to Valentin. I'll put his info in the description below and uh, hopefully this will help you guys out. Thanks. After towing the car twice and paying Valentin, my total cost is $581.26 to solve the battery drain issue. So even with my towing costs, I've only spent roughly one third of what BMW wanted to charge me to replace the instrument cluster. My overall cost, including the new battery and alternator, is $1,321.81. So even if my car didn't need the new alternator and battery, I'm still more than $350 under the cost of BMW's instrument cluster replacement estimate. Bimmerforums.com, Valentin, and various Facebook groups for N55 powered BMWs really saved me this time. Always be sure to explore your other options before paying the dealer for a job.